Hi everyone, my name is Kate and today I will show you my biggest crochet work ever and of course I'm telling you about this autumn cardigan. Why is this work the biggest I've ever made? Because usually I crochet some items about two or three days, but this cardigan I crochet two weeks, two. Oh my gosh. But it's worth it because look at this, it's gorgeous. As usual, I go on Pinterest to find some inspiration and I found these pictures. And I realized <laughs> that I want the same cardigan. I decided to knit this cardigan. Yes, you're right. I decided to knit at first. But then I remembered that you prefer more crocheted items. So <laughs> I changed my mind to crochet cardigan. I added embroidery and of course I'll show you how I did it too. This project I crocheted from super soft yarn from Hobby. I've never touched such a soft yarn. It feels like a cloud. It's viscose and wool. I chose such natural, refreshing colors. They're perfect for both autumn and spring. So I'm totally recommend you this yarn because it fits to this cardigan, I don't know, thousand percent maybe more and not only for this cardigan so go on the website and check it the links will be in the description under the video but before we start crossing don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and leave a comment what do you think about this cardigan i think it's incredible gorgeous don't forget to subscribe to my instagram too and let's get started we will need Hobby Yarn Pearly Haze in 50 grams, 110 meters, cream 10 skeins and artichoke 9 skeins, hook 4.5 millimeters, needle, scissors, 3 buttons and moulinie. It's yarn for embroidery. The cardigan will project is suitable for sizes S to M. I think on size L will also fit. Cardigan consists of different figures, are rhombuses, triangles, half rhombuses and half triangles. Crochet them very simply, but they need a lot. Now I'll show you how much of what we'll need to crochet. 34 green rhombuses, 28 white rhombuses, 15 green triangles, 14 white triangles, 10 white half rhombuses, 2 green half triangles and 6 white half triangles. This is how we're gonna make it and sew it. You can make it longer or wider if you want, but you need to crochet more rhombuses, triangles, half rhombuses and half triangles. Here is the scheme of the front part, the back part and the sleeves. Where there's X2, you put the same shape on top. We start crocheting with rhombuses and triangles. Make the starter loop like this. Make chain of 2, 1, 2. Insert the hook into the very first loop and make two single crochets. Grab the yarn, pull it out and crochet two loops on the hook together. Then insert the hook into the same place, grab the yarn and crochet two loops together. It's our two single crochets. Then chain one and turn your work. Insert the hook into the second loop right here and make a single crochet. In the last loop make two single crochets again. Chain 1 and turn your work. Insert the hook into the second loop make a single crochet next loop single crochet again 
and the last loop make an increase two single crochets into the same place. Chain 1, turn your work and repeat the same pattern. Insert the hook into the second loop, make a single crochet, then crochet until the end of the row with single crochets and in the last loop make an increase to single crochets. So we need to crochet like this until we have 18 loops. This is what I have, 17 rows up and 18 loops. And it's our first triangle, so we can chain 1 and cut the yarn. And we need to make 15 green triangles like this and 14 white triangles. To make rhombus we need to continue crocheting but with decreases. And decreases we will make at the beginning of each row. Insert the hook into the second loop, grab the yarn and leave two loops on the hook. Then insert the hook into the next loop and then crochet three loops on the hook together like this. So it's our first decrease. Then crochet as usual with single crochets until the end of the row. And the last loop without increase. Chain 1 and turn your work. Make a decrease as we did. Insert the hook into the second loop, grab the yarn and leave two loops on the hook. Insert the hook into the next loop, grab the yarn. We have three loops on the hook and crochet them together, it's our decrease. And crochet as usual until the end of the row. So we crochet like this until we have one loop on the hook. I crochet in the last decrease and I have one loop on the hook. Chain one and you can cut the yarn. And this is how we crochet rhombuses. We need to make 34 green rhombuses and 28 white rhombuses. And now we're gonna make half rhombuses and half triangles. We'll start with half triangle. So chain two and make two single crochets in the first loop. Chain one, turn your work, insert the hook into the second loop and crochet this row without increases. Just two single crochets. Chain one, Turn your work, insert the hook into the second loop and make an increase, two single crochets in the same place. And then crochet as usual till the end of the row. Chain 1, turn your work and crochet this row without increases. So we need to alternate the rows with increases at the beginning of the row and the rows without increases. We need to crochet like this until we reach 17th row. I crocheted 17 rows up and this is our half triangle. We need to make chain 1 and cut the yarn. And to make half rhombus we need to continue crocheting with decreases. Chain 1, turn your work and it's our 18 row. Crochet until we have two loops left. Here are my two loops at the end of the row and I'm making a decrease. 
crochet 3 loops together, chain 1, turn your work and this row crochet as usual without decreases. So we again alternate the rows with decreases at the end of the row and the rows without them until we have one loop left on the hook. My last decrease, chain 1 and cut the yarn. It's half rhombus and we need to make 10 white half rhombuses. I've crocheted all the pieces, I've got a stack of them, so let's lay them out and look at the cardigan parts. This is the front part with sleeves. Look at this layout of a scheme I gave at the beginning of the video, we will sew all the rhombuses together on diagonals, the sleeves will be sewn into a tube. I have two elements where the schematic says x2. This is the back part, it includes more rhombuses and triangles. When laying out and sewing, make sure that all rhombuses and triangles all face the same direction. Only the upper triangles will look the wrong way, this is normal and won't be visible. Let's start sewing from the front part. All elements will be sewing along the diagonals. And I'm using white yarn. You can sew both hook and needle, needle stitches are flat and almost invisible, but this method is not very convenient. Crochet stitches are more convex, but crochet is easier to sew together. Choose your own way. I'll show to you how it looks with crochet stitches and how it looks with needle stitches. Place two elements like this and insert the hook into the very first row of the rhombus and half triangle. Grab the yarn, pull it out and crochet one loop on the hook. Insert the hook into the same place and make a single crochet. Insert the hook into the next row of rhombus and next row of half triangle and make a single crochet. Don't tighten the stitch too much, crochet loosely. Insert the hook into the next rows and crochet like this until we reach 17th row. At the end of each diagonal, chain 1 and cut the yarn. And this is what the seam looks like from the back part and from the front part. And now I'll show you the needle stitches. The downside to the needle method is that you have to pull a long thread. We must always thread the needle from the top. The seam turns out flat, it's more beautiful, but I choose practicality and convenience, so I will continue to crochet everything. I turned all things inside out, so it's easier to stitch. As I said, insert the hook into the very first row of the triangle and the rhombus and start crochet with single crochets. 
grab the yarn, pull it out and crochet one loop on the hook. Then insert the hook into the same place and make a single crochet. I crochet together with the tip so there is less to hide later. Now I'll show you how to move on the next rhombus, we need to count the 17th row from the bottom and insert the hook into it. And also insert the hook into the first row of white rhombus. Grab the yarn and continue crocheting with single crochets. And here is what we got. I'll show you again how to move on the next element, count 17th row and insert the hook into it. And insert the hook into the first row of the next rhombus. On the side pieces the rows looks a little different, we've got free spaces and not. Here is what we have. At the end, chain one and cut the yarn. All other diagonals crochet in the same way. I'll show you how to start from this side and how to crochet the joints of the rhombuses. I insert the hook into the last row of this element and into the first row of next white element. Grab the yarn, pull it out, crochet one loop on the hook, insert the hook into the same place and crochet single crochet. Then insert the hook into the next row of green rhombus and into the next row of white element. And continue crocheting as usual. On the white rhombus count 17th row and insert the hook into it. And the first row of the next green rhombus. So like this we'll see you all the diagonals on the cardigan. We've reached the rhombus joint and crochet the last stitch. The next stitch is through the joint. Insert the hook into the first row of white rhombus and into the next loop on the green rhombus. 
and continue crocheting. I show it to you again. So we need to sew the front parts like this and back part, and I'll show you how to sew the sleeve. This is what one front part looks like fully sewing together. You can hide all the ends, but I'll do it at the very end. You also need to steam each piece well, especially the seam if you crochet it like me. And now let's sew the sleeves. It's a little more complicated because we have to sew them into a tube. But we can do it. We need to lay out the sleeve like this and start sewing diagonally as usual, but sew only in one direction. When we make the tube, we'll sew in the other direction. I made one diagonal and here I put one more rhombus and start crocheting the next diagonal. This is what I have, and here I put two more rhombuses and start crocheting the third diagonal. And right here I need to crochet the fourth diagonal. This is what I have, and I need to make one more diagonal. You can arrange all elements like this. In line we have four white rhombuses and four green rhombuses. And these triangles I will add when we sew the sleeve into a tube. Put it all facing to us and fold it like this with the wrong side facing out. Lay it out as shown on the skin. And now we can sew these two triangles. And now we can sew in the other direction. How to join the diagonals? I just do the last stitch with slip stitch in the first loop of the seam. Chain 1 and cut the yarn. Here I put the hook in the 17th row and in the last loop of the seam. And continue crocheting. And this is what the sewing sleeve looks like. The white triangles is the top of the sleeve and the green triangles is the bottom of the sleeve. And of course, don't forget to steam it well. And now let's sew all parts together. This is my back part. I put it facing to me and the front parts inside out. I insert the hook into the top of the white elements and start sewing with single crochets. And here I use the green yarn because we have green triangles on the top. And I crochet it with all tips. At the end chain 1 and cut the yarn. This is what we have and from the front side they seem almost invisible. Sew from the other side the same way and go on the sleeve. The top of my sleeve will be the top of green rhombus. Here I will use white yarn and insert the hook into the shoulder seam and into the top of the green rhombus and start crocheting down
I finished crocheting on this side, here I did 4 stitches, on this side I put the hook also in the 4th stitch and start crocheting to the top. I skip the green stitch, we will crochet it together with the side. And on the shoulder I crocheted the last stitch on the seam, chain 1 and cut the yarn. This is what we have and from the other side make the same. On the side we crocheted in the same way and the last stitch in the loop that we left on the sleeve uncrocheted it. The front side should look like this. And now it's time to try on the cardigan, it fits great, we're gonna add some beautiful edge and high all the ends. Now we're gonna crochet the edging. This is how much yarn I have left, I'll crochet the top in green and the sleeves in green and where there will be a buttons, I crochet in white and the bottom of the cardigan also in white. I'm gonna start with this loop of white half rhombus and crochet with single crochets until the next half rhombus. On the shoulders I skip the shoulder seam and crochet in the next loop. I crochet it till the next half rhombus, now chain 1 and turn your work. And crochet the second row till the end. Insert the hook into the second loop. I crochet it till the end, may chain 1, turn your work and the third row will crochet only to the back loop of each stitch to make the edging more embossed. I crocheted to the end of the row, made chain 1, turn my work and this is the fourth row, the last one, we're gonna crochet for both loops as usual. And this is what I have. It doesn't look like a regular rubber band, so it looks good. And let's make white part. On this side we're going to have buttons, so crochet 4 rows just like we crocheted it at the top, 2 rows just single crochets. Third row just through the back loops and fourth just single crochets as usual. I crocheted to the end of the first row, make chain 1 and turn your work. The second row just single crochets. This is my third row, chain 1 and start crocheting single crochets through the back loop. At the end chain 1 and first row crochet as usual. Here is what I have, I sewed this join with a needle, but it won't be visible anyway, because this is where the bottom will be. And on this side we'll have the button holes. We need to make one row and on the second we'll make the holes.
I roughly marked the buttons with 9.5 cm between them and on the other side I marked where the holes would be. So crochet the second row with single crochets until the marker. This connection will be the hole too. I've reached the marker, then I make chain of 3, skip 3 stitches and insert the hook into the 4th stitch and then continue crocheting till the next marker. You can make the hole bigger depending on the diameter of the button. I've reached next marker, chain of 3, skip 3 loops and insert the hook into the fourth and crochet as usual till the end of the row. Chain 1, turn your work and start crocheting through the back loops. And after that, the fourth row, crochet as usual. I've made 4 rows and this is what I have. And here with a needle make the third hole. And hide the end. And of course you the buttons on well. Our cardigan is almost ready, we only need to make bottom edging, the sleeve edging and the embroidery. We're gonna start make edging right here, I'll do two rows of single crochets. At the end of the first row I made chain of 1, turn my work and start crocheting with single crochets as usual. This is what I have and how much yarn I have left. On the sleeves we make edging the same way, I'll just show you how to join the rows on the sleeves. I crocheted the first row on the sleeve and let's join the row. I insert the hook into the very first loop right here and make a slip stitch. Chain 1, turn my work, insert the hook into the second loop right here and start crocheting with single crochets as we did. At the end of the second row, I skip this stitch and insert the hook into the very first loop of the second row and make a slip stitch. Chain 1 and you can cut the yarn. And this is what we have, the cardigan without embroidery. You can hide all the ends, steam it well and wear like this. The height of the cardigan is 46 cm, the width of the one front part is 25 cm, the height of the sleeve is 47 cm and the width 20.5 cm. I suggest you to make it more unique and add some simple embroidery. I will embroider these flowers, they are very simple, in YouTube if you want you can find more complicated embroidery options, on the wrong side could be done more neatly, but I'm fine with that. I will use these colors. We need to thread the long thread through the needle and tie a knot. I have a rough idea in my head of where I want the flowers to go. I insert the needle from the wrong side and hold the end. 
Then I insert the needle diagonally upwards through a few stitches and then stitch it again in the same direction to make it more highlighted. And then I pull the needle out in the other direction and in this way I can make 3 or 4 flower petals in different positions. And then start making the other flower. When the thread is almost finished, I cut it off and make a few knots around the other threads. With the other end of the thread, I do the same way. The stem of the flowers is just stitches in the direction to the flowers. And this is our final result! I'm very proud of this work, it's my biggest and one of the most beautiful. I won't say that it was difficult for me to make this cardigan, but rather very long. But the result was worth it. I hope you will also be brave enough to repeat it and you will do the same great work. Many people on my Instagram said that it's like from the house moving castle and I also think so, that is very similar. I thank you for watching this video, I'm sure you did it well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment and I wish you all cozy, warm and golden autumn. See you in the next video, bye kitties!